since we're back again, we're talking about today, moment about a specified axis, or as I like to call this, moment about a wacky axis, okay? What that means is this is not an axis like X, Y, or Z. It's something else, some kind of other wacky axis that they want us to take the moment around, okay? So the, the, there's a new equation today for this, for the moment about a wacky axis, okay? Or a specified axis, if you want to be like very scientific, but I like the wacky axis, okay? So here we go. Moment about wacky axis is equal to, okay? New equation. You're not going to believe this. R cross F. Hey, we already knew that. But there's more. Dot. Ooh, we got to remember how to do dot product. Lambda hat. Wacky axis. Okay. So what we do is we're going to we're going to find R cross F like normal, and then we're going to dot that with a lambda hat of that wacky axis of that specified axis. Okay. So let's see if we can do it on this problem here. Okay. Um, find the moment about the O B axis due to force F. Okay, force F is up here, and hallelujah, look what they've done for us. They've given us force F already in Cartesian form. That's good stuff. We don't have to do, you know, blue triangles or directional cosines or the lambda hat method to find that. It's already in the form we need it in, okay? So if we're going to do R cross F, boom, we got F, then what is R? Oh, what is R? Hmm. Now, R was a position vector from the point to the line of action of the force. But this time, we don't have a, a point. We have an axis, okay? And what you do is R can be anywhere on this axis to that line of action of the force. So it can be from O to A or from B to A. Personally, I think uh, B to A is pretty easy, don't you? So I think I would choose this as my R vector. Okay, because how do I get from there to there? Well, I don't know because you didn't put any dimensions on this problem again. Dang it, I keep forgetting that. Ready? How's that? Look, okay, magic of editing. Okay, so how do we find, oh, our vector just goes from here to here, which is just a positive six K hat, isn't it? It's in the, it's in the K direction. So. Vector R is going to equal 6K hat. That's it. Okay. So now we have R, we have F. So we can do this inside the parentheses bit here. Let's see if we can get that. Okay. So uh, let's do a little matrix. I, J, K, R goes here. F goes there. It's R cross F, not F cross R. And it's K hat, so it's like 0, 0, 6. And this guy, negative 40, 20, and 10. Okay. Here we go. Cover up the, uh, the, uh, brr, the I, and you get 0 minus 6 times 20. So minus 1, let's see, 6 times 20 is 120, isn't it? 120, I hat. Cover up the J, right? 0 minus 240, right? Six times 40. So <laughs> be careful about this, right? Because I is negative, right? And it's a uh, negative six times negative 40. It's a lot of negatives in there to get that wrong, right? So we don't want to mess that up. And then K hat, zero minus zero, okay? So what is this? This is negative 240, and then a positive turns it back into a positive 240, and then a negative turns it back into a negative 240. Okay? That's J hat, sorry. Okay? So there, and if we wanted to, we could do this. We could put plus zero K hat. Okay? Now that right there, what is that? That is R cross F for that force from point B. Now you could have done it from point O, you'll get the same thing, okay? So here we go. We're gonna dot that with lambda hat OB. Where's OB? OB 
Obi-Wan Kenobi is right here, okay? OB. And so when you do the dot product, what do you get? When you, this is a vector and that is a vector. And when you dot two vectors together, I'm going to show you how to do that here in just a second, you get a scalar. And so what we're going to wind up with is the amount of rotation or moment that is just around that axis there, around the OB axis, okay? And what we're, look, what we're gonna get is, um, you know, if we're looking towards the origin, right? If we look towards the origin, uh, if, it's, if it's clockwise, we'll get a negative. If it's counterclockwise, we'll get a positive. But it, the answer will not have I's, J's, and K's in it because it's not about the X axis or the Y axis or the Z axis. It's about OB, right? So all of this moment we're gonna get over there is a scalar around just that one axis, okay? So the next thing we need to do, we need to have lambda hat of our wacky axis. In this case, we need to have lambda hat OB, because that's our axis that we're taking it around is OB, okay? So OB, how do we find lambda? Man, we've only done this about a million times. If it's O to B, it's B minus O. Well, O is the origin, right? And point B is, I don't know, negative three in the X and four in the Y and zero in the Z. Okay, so minus three I hat plus four J hat divided by square root, three squared plus four squared, okay? And that is, okay, three squared plus four squared square root. I think I already know what this is. Um, that's five, duh. That's five. What in the world is wrong with me? Okay. So this is going to give me here for this, this guy is going to give me uh, negative three fifths I hat plus four fifths J hat. Okay. Or, or negative 0.6 I hat plus 0.8 J hat. Okay. So there's our Lambda OB. This guy right here is Lambda OB. So we're going to dot that with that, right? Because that is R cross F, that is lambda hat, so we gotta dot them. So the dot product works like this in case you don't remember, okay? You take one vector and you dot it with another vector, which is negative six I hat plus eight J hat plus, we'll go zero K hat, what do you say? So what do you do to dot? You take these two and multiply them together you take these two, you multiply them together, and you take these two and multiply them together, and then you take that and you add it to that and add it to that, right? That's all there is to it, okay? So what do we have here? We have 120, clear, clear, 120 times, there's a decimal right there and right there, point, point six is 72. So you have 70, to, um, sorry, no, I almost wrote I hat, plus, right, 72, it, and that's a negative and a negative, so that makes a positive. Now we got a negative and a positive. This next one's gonna be a, it's gonna be a minus, isn't it? 240, y'all know why there's 239 beans in a can? Because if there's one more, they'd be 240. Okay, never mind. Okay, 240 times 0.8, equals 192, okay? So, 72 minus 192 is 120. And what is this? This is a moment, so this is Newton meters. And so that means that means that there is a clockwise moment around that OB axis, and how big is it? It's 120 Newton meters due to that force up there, okay? The moment about a specified axis, but I like the moment about a wacky axis better. Speaking of wacky, I'll see you next time.